do scientists, do great scientists or good scientists have a common trait? Mm, probably not. I think they're a pretty heterogeneous bunch, actually, in my experience. You know, some you wouldn't trust your mother with. <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, I think most people, the really good ones, have a tremendous respect for the truth. And most of them are pretty, they're pretty, they tend to be rather curious. They're very curious. They want to understand how the world works. And it turns out when you look at people's autobiographies, almost everybody took radio sets apart when they were little. <laughs> Nowadays, of course, radio sets don't, you know, you can't take them apart. So I'm a bit worried for the next generation of young scientists, because I don't know what you'd have to take apart instead. Even, you know, I mean, even cars have gotten incredible, you know, you look, it's just a piece of lump of plastic. That's all you see, you can't see what's going on. Whereas in the olden days, there were bits that would fail and you'd have to replace or clean out, you know, like carburetors were very unsatisfactory things I seem to remember.